let's start with the icon library. The icon library itself is framework agnostic, means it doesn't rely on Angular, React, Vue, or any other framework. It just takes a bunch of raw SVG icons and delivers them as code. To transform our raw SVG icons to code, we are going to use an open source helper tool called SVG2TS, which is available as an NPM package. As the name indicates, SVG2TS will take our SVG icons and transform them to either TypeScript or JavaScript. If we transform to JavaScript, it will additionally also create TypeScript declaration files, TypeScript interface and TypeScript types for better IntelliSense and build time support. With such an approach, our library can be used in various contexts. It can be used in a plain Angular spa, in a React spa, in vanilla JS, or in a TypeScript application. Before we focus on the engineering part, we first need icons. Usually in a bigger company, you will probably have a designer that will deliver those icons for you. For our case, it's enough to hop over to flat icon and there I found this Greek mythology icon pack created by FreePick. We can now download this icon pack. And once downloaded, we will end up with a bunch of raw SVG icons. So that's everything we need to get started. So now let's focus on the engineering part. To build our icon library, we can hop over to GitHub and search for SVG icon library starter. So this is a project which we can either fork or we can just download the sources or clone the repository and copy the sources over. Let's have a closer look at the sources. So I already created the Greek mythology icons repository and copied the starter kit over. And the starter kit contains a showcase folder. It's simply an index HTML with some lines of JavaScript. So it's a, it's a small web app that will display our icons. This can be useful for our stakeholders so that they can have a look at our icons. So this could be designers or other engineers. Then we have an SVG icons folder. So this is the folder where we are going to place our icons. Then we have a bunch of standard stuff like git ignore, license, package JSON and package lock. So let's explore the package JSON. In the package JSON, we have a bunch of dependencies. So we have CPX, a bunch of other dependencies to run multiple scripts in the same time. And then we also have SVG2TS, which I already talked about into, in the introduction. And then additionally, we have a SVG2TS RC file, which is a configuration file for SVG2TS. So let's start by customizing the starter. To, to customize the starter, we run a full text search over the whole project and we search for the replace me. So we can see that we have a bunch of replacements to do in the package JSON, in the SVG2TS configuration and in the index HTML. And of course, also in the package log, but this will automatically be synchronized once we run npm install. So let's start by replacing the name of our projects in the package JSON. So instead of replace me, we call our project Greek mythology icons. That's everything that is needed here. Once we've done this, we can already open up a terminal and install the dependencies. This will then automatically sync the package JSON and the package log. So once installed, we get the node modules here. So let's continue with the customization. So the next thing that we can replace is the title of our showcase application. So we want to call it Greek mythology icons showcase. So the, the last thing that is left are the customizations in the SVG2TS configuration. We already pre-configured SVG2TS in a reasonable way or in the way that we think is the best way uh, to deliver icons. If you want to dive deeper into those configurations, feel free to hop over to NPM and search for SVG2TS and in the docs you will find everything about the configuration possibilities. For our case here, it's enough if we just replace the interface name, the type name, prefix and the model file name. 
So when we generate our icons, we will generate also a interface to have better intelligence. And this interface will be called Greek mythology icon. So Greek mythology is probably too long. Therefore we will go with GM icons. The type name is the same, but we will go with a lower lowercase and the prefix. So this will be the prefix for each icon. So if we generate uh, icons, all of them will be prefixed with GM icons. And the last thing is the model file name. So this model file name is the file that contains the interface and the type. So we can also give it a custom name. We call it GM icons model. So that's everything that we need in terms of customizations. So the last thing that we need is we need to introduce our icons to the project. So we can see that we should replace this readme file with our icons. So let's go ahead and delete this. Grab our icons. So we grab all of them and then just copy them over into this folder. So we can add them. So let's now first explore the build. So we can now run build library. And build library, as you can see in the log, will already use svg2ts to process our SVG files, to optimize them, to generate them, and then also um, package them for distribution. So we can now have a look in our dist. So we have this icons folder, and here we have the index.js, which exports all of our icons. And now you can see that they are all prefixed with this prefix that we used in our svg to ts configuration. Furthermore, we have a package JSON and the readme already copied over. And let's now have a look, a closer look at each icon. So we can see that each icon has the prefix and exports a name and a data property. And we export our, our model data inside the declaration file. So we export a type. So this is the type that we previously configured and the interface that we previously configured. So each icon consists of a name and data, and this will later become important when we start to register icons to the registry, because this will basically be the key, and this is the value, and this is the icon type. So this will be the name that we later use when we start to use it in Angular. But we will see this in the next video. This is the build that, will al that already works. So we can already change direction into this directory and publish it to npm. Another nice thing is the showcase. We can now run the surf script that builds us a showcase to display all the icons. So we can see that we now have this nice page with all of our icons. Additionally, to those cards, we get a nice filter function where we can search for RS, for example, or we can filter for, for various icons. So we have seen that we just need a bunch of customizations. So just search for replace me and then replace the, the name in the package JSON and adjust the SVG to TS configurations and the title in the showcase. And the last thing is to copy your icons over. That's everything you need. To publish our library, we can change into the this directory icons, then we can run a npm login and enter your credentials. And now you can run npm publish. Now we publish Greek mythology icons successfully. So we can already hop over to npm.js and then search for Greek mythology icons. And we will see that we published our icons.